Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily with me, John Jordan. So daily news today is uh, pretty interesting. Always is, isn't it? But uh, interesting today. So um, what do we got today? We've got an announcement of a new game called uh, Illuvium. Why do they always have weird names? Uh, Illuvium. <laughs> um, I guess what's interesting about this game is the people who are involved in it. So um, as you can see here, this is an article from Cointelegraph. Um, and uh, there's this guy, Kane Warwick, really well known in the DeFi space. He runs the uh, Synthetic uh, Project. has been going for a number of years, one of the kind of biggest um, or one of the most highly regarded projects in uh, decentralized finance. Um, and his brothers <laughs> are making a game. So um, uh, that's kind of interesting because obviously uh, Kane uh, Warwick has lots of chops in the industry and has lots of... Uh, Lots of money in the industry as well, um, and he knows how De he knows how DeFi works. He knows how blockchain DApps work. So that's interesting. Um, so and he's actually backing. Um, looks like he's backing his brothers. Uh, looks like there might be some other uh, people backing them as well. Um, not quite sure uh, who those other people might be, um, but uh, they're going to be good on the DeFi side of things, I think. Right. So um, now, now some of the problems start. <laughs> um, so. Kieran Warwick, one of the brothers, um, has, says development has been underworked since September. So that's not very many months at all. You wouldn't be, this would just be kind of prototyping stuff. Um, and he uh, founded a startup in the food industry. So um, I'm guessing he doesn't have much experience of making games, which is a bit of a problem because uh, it's really hard to make uh, games and really harder to make blockchain games. Anyway, we get some idea of kind of the concept they're thinking here. So they're thinking Pokemon and Auto Battlers. You know, um, not, not, that's not too bad, uh, kind, of, kind of as a starting point. Um, they are, unsurprisingly, I suppose, going to have their own token, the uh, ILV token, um, and they are going to have some interesting stuff with, with uh, NFTs. So what they're going to do in terms of this, the, uh, we can see here from this uh, RPG element is you're going to start off with a little lizard like this guy, and you're going to level him up till he gets stronger, obviously. Um, so we know this from, from um, role-playing games. It's pretty straightforward, but what we, what it looks like they're going to be looking to do is they're going to use a fusion mechanic, which it, which is you know we've seen in lo loads of games, um, where you basically have to get three you have to get three of these um, NFTs and then you basically burn them all um, they're removed from you and you get one of these and then another three to get one of those and and, and that's how it goes. So we've actually seen this this is this is already what happens in Splinterlands the card uh, card trading game where you have to um, actually in Splinterlands you have to to begin with have to burn four to get level up and then you have to burn nine to level up and then you have to burn 16 so so progressively it's, a, it's an exponential um, curve we'll see uh, how that works if they kind of change their game design here um, with all these kind of things, you start off with the game design and it obviously changes as you do testing. Um, so they are... Um, the other interesting thing, actually, is they are going to be using this uh, this technology. It's called Immutable Immutable X. So this is this is like a, a side chain um, that, that is being used by the Gods Unchained developer uh, Immutable. Um, interestingly, both... Uh, both those teams are Australian. I guess um, that's not necessarily coincidental. Um, uh, so, uh, interesting about Immutable X is is it's not it's not finished yet. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, we're not quite sure what stage it's at. Um, we're not expecting that to be out really till till the summer of 2021. So that obviously you know this game's not coming out anytime soon. Not even going into testing anytime soon, really. So I'd be surprised if if this game um, uh, Illuvia, Illuvium comes out. Uh, well, be about a year, I think. I would, you know, it could come out in, in late 2021. Could come out in early 2022. I would imagine. Um, so, but it's interesting. I guess it's interesting um, that new games are coming out from people who, who um, are know about blockchain and kind of think games are cool. Um, that's good to see. Um, not really going to go. So, the game demo is a few months out. I mean, this game demo is not going to be very good at all. Um, but they're going to do liquidity mining um, to begin with. So that means you're taking tokens and people are locking them in to allow tokens to be bought and sold. So they're going to be um, kind of like trying to kickstart the economy, and that's often something that a lot of uh, blockchain games don't really get right. Um, um, well, it's hard, it's hard to time, really. So it's not they don't get it right. It's hard to time um, when you have a token, you know, when you go live with it. Um, and obviously, the price of the token can can be massively impacted if you suddenly have to delay your game for six months. So we'll see how that goes on. 15-man um, team. I mean, that's not nothing in, in the blockchain game space. There's not many blockchain games with 15-man team. Uh, but equally, in a game in a game situation, that's not a lot. <laughs> There's not many games out there with only 15 people working on them. Um, any games, are, you know, that obviously limits your quality. Um, let's go and have a look. Also, um, have a look here. This is the um, 
the uh, alluvium uh, medium. So there's a bit of guff about um, blah, 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 backstory. I don't really care about that sort of stuff. Um, so not turn-based, um, auto battle. So basically you choose your characters, you choose these uh, allu 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 vials, um and they basically get on with it. It's auto battle, that's what it means, kind of like an idle game to some degree. Um, and you choose what you, you choose what you've got and then you let them get on with it and see who wins. Again, very much like Splinterlands from that point of view. So you need a big collection um, to see which ones work well together, um, de particularly depending on what opponents you're, you're against. Uh, we have Infinity in class, not going to go into any of this sort of stuff, but uh, you can see with any NFTs there's going to be rarity in there and that's going to be involving this sort of this sort of kind of situation. Earthwind, Fire, Nate, yeah, the usual kind of, kind of stuff here. Um, five classes, Fighter, Guardian, Rogue, Scion and Empath, um, which roughly match up to traditional RPG classes, so nothing new there, why reinvent the wheel? Um, so we have capture. So this is where the pocket, the Pokemon stuff comes in. So uh, in adventure mode, after a successful encounter, you'll be able to capture the defeated Illuvials to use have to use a shard. Um, um, so this would be interesting because obviously th this is potentially how you're generating NFTs. You go and play the game, and then you get these NFTs. Um, that interestingly, economically, how does that work? Because basically, are people minting NFTs? That's going to be expensive potentially. Well, they're work working on a side chain, so it won't be. But um, how does the economy work if you're getting these NFTs? There are NFTs on the side chain. Obviously, can you sell them on the side chain? Is 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 that is that something? How does that work? Um, presumably, maybe to to sell them, you want to take them to Ethereum blockchain. You want to bridge it across. That causes confusion. Uh, I'm not saying these guys don't know what they're doing, but I'm just saying, at the top of my head, this is the sort of stuff I would be um, asking questions about. Um, rare captures. Um, so there's some stuff. Is some randomness. So randomness is obviously important in terms of uh, creating very valuable NFTs. And if you're going to do an NFT game, you have to have these uh, very valuable ones, as we've seen in the past with CryptoKitties, as we're seeing at the moment with uh, Axie Infinity. And, um, you know, you have to have some randomness in there. Uh, uh, Fusion we've covered. Um, you can bond, so you can bond them together. Um, Semi-permanent, not quite sure what that means. Um, what does semi-permanent mean? Um, so, so there we go. A lot, kind of more questions than answers, perhaps. There's going to be a ranked arena, of course, PvP. Um, there's going to be uh, looks like some spectator stuff, some esports angles, um, but but very 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 early into into the space. Uh, but definitely one we'll keep an eye on, um, and I think we'll see a lot more games being announced in in 2021. Um, a lot more interesting sort of games, uh, and and partly you know because the crypto price is now so high, people are getting interested. People have been developing, working on games for the last year and not announced it yet. Um, so we'll see a lot of those games coming in and also i think we'll see um let's say a kind of mix up of people coming from DeFi, people coming from traditional gaming um and, and coming together and hopefully making something pretty new and exciting so um that's news for today please do subscribe to the channel if you want to know what's going on in uh, blockchain games but thanks for uh watching and see you again soon mm -hmm.